Hello students, today I came with new topic Indo-Gangetic Plains. If you break this word, this one tells you the entire story. Indo refers to Indus, Gangetic nothing but Ganga Plains. And we can add here, third one has been not mentioned in the name, that is Brahmaputra Plain. Whenever it is said Indo-Gangetic Plains, you need to keep three things in mind, that is Indus, Ganga and uh, Brahmaputra plains that we are talking about many million years ago almost 20 million years ago it was a shallow basin some places some books call this uh, geosyncline some books call this four deep nothing but a shallow area which was filled by the silt or the alluvium which was brought by the rivers of Himalayas. Now, these Indo Gangetic plains, let's show uh, and the eastern, western is speaking about Indus, central Ganga river system, the eastern one is speaking about uh, um, Brahmaputra river system. The western part was formed by the Indus and its tributaries Jhelum, Ravi, Bias, Satlej and China formed with five rivers. A simple question that they ask you, what are the tributaries? Most of the Indo River Basin is located in Pakistan and a little portion is formed in India in the states of Punjab and Haryana. The dominant feature of this region is Doab. Actually, this is Doab. This word is derived from Persian language you may find this in urdu language also do refers to two ab refers to water uh, water bodies nothing but fertile land between two water bodies to refer this uh, this word has been used you can take uh, simply um, ganga and yamuna do ab uh, many places of the world you will find this uh, what do we call that uh, doa next we go to the central part what is that uh, ganga plain it extends from the rivers kagar to tista where is tista i think it might be coming from sikkim and uh, kagar is uh, to the west of yamuna which states it covers haryana uttar pradesh Bihar, Jharkhand, and then uh, what do we call that? Uh, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, like this. If you count the list, almost 11 states have been given when I searched uh, various websites. Okay, very few has been given here in your textbook. And the tributaries, so on, Kosi, they have given, and the Yamuna is the biggest tributary. Next, we move to the eastern part of the plain, exists mostly in Brahmaputra Valley of Assam, and the river Brahmaputra is responsible for this. Every year, you might have seen in the newspaper with bold letters that floods are in Assam or something like that. Brahmaputra causes all these floods. Himalayan rivers, while flowing down, deposit gravel and pebble sediments in a narrow belt of 8 to 16 kilometers width found parallel to foot hills of Shivalik, nothing but to the next of Shivalik, third range. This feature is known as Bhabar. It's This Bhabar is porous in nature. What is porous? Something that allows flow of water and air that we call porous small rivers. You can take sand or a uh, heap of, uh, so, what do we call it, concrete pour some water and that water disappears uh, that is porous in sand you do the same it disappears so that we say porous small river streams flow underground and through barber and they reappear they appear again in lower areas form a swampy and marshy region why and that region we call terrain that water appears there so that's why we are calling this swampy and marsh a wet region is formed the region had a thick forest, had a thick forest. What does it mean? Not now. That has been cleared after independence. Okay. Fine alluvial soil we found it to the south of uh, Terai region. Thanks a lot for watching.
this much I have for you in today's class. Um, if you like my video, then please share and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.